Hi guys! I'm Zeya. In this vlog, I will share my journey from Manila to Texas where I will spend 3 weeks before I start in my new job. I already have a 10-year B1, B2 visa, so I did not anymore apply for a visa for this trip. Although I have already been to the US 3 times before, I was still anxious so I prepared all the documents the embassy would require for a visa application. Let's see if I will need those later. It's not a busy day for traveling. As you can see, there aren't a lot of people in the airport. First order of business is pay for the travel tax. The area used to be here, but I think it has moved, so I'll just ask the guard. Okay, let's just follow the sign. It says here, pay your travel tax. And I don't think there's much of a line here. There it is. No line. It was a super fast transaction. It was done in two minutes. So I'm now here at level one to withdraw money. And hopefully I will be able to exchange my peso to dollars. Okay. Thank you. I'm going back to level 3 to check in. I decided to use the escalator rather than the elevator because this is closer. And the escalator can actually accommodate my two luggage. My flight is NH870 Haneda. It's 11 a.m. and the check-in counter for my flight is not yet open. I think it will open around 11.40, like 3 hours before my flight. It says here, check-in counters will be temporarily transferred to Island E. So let's go there. There are more people now. There, I'm now at section E and indeed the check-in counters are not yet open. So I asked and I'm on the wrong side of E. There's another side over there and I saw some people already. So let's go line up. The counters are not yet open but people are already lining up. So I guess I can do the same. After a few minutes, I decided to take a seat and watch Korean series. I immediately got up when the check-in counters opened. Okay. Uh, actually, meron akong laptop, ano, but, ah, hindi pala battery, charger, okay lang yon. Huh? Charger. Ah, para to sa ano, no, sa dito. Okay, okay, charger. Laptop. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, 16 kilos. <laughs> and the next one? Mm, 14. Luggage sa Houston na? Or do I need to get it from sa Honolulu? Ah, pipikapin ko sa Honolulu before I go to Would you know if I can like check in my baggage already in Honolulu? So I can like put my bag. Great. 
Ah, okay po. So, ano, makakalabas naman ako ng Honolulu Airport. Okay, thank you. Headed now to the International Departures area. That was quick! <laughs> I already passed through immigration and the bag security check and it went smoothly. I'll tell you more about it later. And now I'm going to look for the bathroom. Okay, story time. The immigration officer only asked how long I will be in the US and where I will stay. I did not anymore have to pull out any document. Okay, see you haven't purchased pasalubong. You can drop by here and buy pasalubo. The net pillow costs four fifty. Oh, super pricey! Another pasalubong center. And this one, it really has its name there. Pasalubong Philippines. I'm here, and my gate. I will check where my gate is. It's gate 113. Check ko lang so that I know where I will go later. But, kakain pa ako. Kasi, boarding time is at 2 plus p.m. It's only 1.15 p.m. So, I still have time to eat. I haven't had breakfast yet. And I think my last meal was around 12 midnight. So, I'm kind of hungry right now. So there's my gate. I know where it is. Now I'm going to look for a place where I can eat. There are actually very few options here. They have Seattle's Best, uh, Katunings, a few more over there. Mostly coffee shop style. I don't know. <laughs> Not familiar to me. And so I decided to go here and eat at Tapaking or Kenny Roachers. So the big question is, should I eat a full meal or merienda lang? I don't know if they will serve food sa airplane mamaya for the flight from Manila to Haneda. Once again, a flight NH870 bound for Haneda. Connecting this way, transfer passenger only. So we're here. I got to security check just in time for boarding. I 
I'll just follow this group because I think they're also headed to 108. Stores are closed because it's already past 9 p.m. They even can say whether it's vacant or not. I really love this airport. It's super techy and I think that's applicable for the whole of Japan. They have a duty free shop here. I don't have time anymore to go see it because it's boarding time. We are almost there, 108A. Here we are, 108A. They're already letting groups 1 and 2 board, but I'm under group 5, so I have time to go to the toilet. Another toilet run because I love the toilets here. More people are lining up. I'm not sure what group they belong to. Should I go here? I asked this lovely lady if I'm on the right track and yes, I need to go to lobby 8. So I'm on the right track. Lobby 5 to 8. Just keep going. So I have formally entered the United States of America and I guess my Honolulu to Texas flight is already considered a domestic flight. Almost there. Here is for the Philippine Airlines, Alaska Airlines. I still have six hours until my next flight. Maybe six to seven hours until my next flight. So I'm thinking of going around. No, not really going around. Just going to a beach here in Honolulu. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully I will be able to check in my baggage so that I can go out. Finally at Lobby 8. Now. I hope it's okay to check it in even if my flight is still at 7 p.m. Step one is here. Let's scan the boarding pass. You are ready to travel. Proceed to your gate. I printed it so now I have two boarding passes. Step two, backdrop. So I'm done with the backdrop and since my flight is still at 7 p.m. I might as well go out and for my research there's a beach close by I don't know how to get there though I got off the bus here and followed this kuya. 
is from Phoenix, Arizona because he's headed to Waikiki Beach too. Thank you for bringing me here. Okay. Thanks, bye bye. I'm leaving the beach area now and I'll walk around for 20 or so minutes before I go back to the airport. I just got in the bus and I'll be at the airport in an hour or so. I still have time to go around the airport and I'm so happy it worked out! I'm back at the airport and we'll check in now. I'm back a bit early actually. It's still 4 o'clock and my flight is at, let's see, there's been no change. It's done 7.45 p.m. but I'll go inside now because there's nothing else to do outside and it's better to be early than late. Ticketed passengers only be on this Passengers enter here. All gates security check. So I'm going in. through security check. I'll go look for my gate now because it's not indicated in my boarding pass. Houston, Bush is 7.45pm, gate 5. The stores are closed even though it's daytime. Maybe the stores closed during the pandemic and haven't opened since. But there are some stores that are already open. so cozy here. You can actually stay long in this area. Not so much people. Now that I know where it is, I can go to Starbucks. I feel safe and secure now that I know where I will go later to board. the pineapple passion fruit drink but it's unavailable so I settled with a strawberry aka with lemonade. I bought it for $7.17 probably the most expensive Starbucks I've ever had. I am finally reunited with my bags. I changed my top because I've had it the other one for 36 hours. I'm meeting up with Ralph in a bit. He's picking me up. So there, welcome to Houston, Texas. 